And new at 6, a judge rules against the city of Mobile and says the owner of a boarding house in Mobile can have a business license. After all, the Mobile City Council revoked the license after the house on Broad Street became a hotbed for trouble, including more than 120 calls to police in 2019 alone. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, the court found the new owner has drastically improved safety there. And residents who live there, Kim and Greg, uh, agree. They say it's much better under the new ownership. A court order says the new owner, Randall Petrie, purchased the property the day the city revoked the license from the previous owner. And that Petrie even worked with the city to do his due diligence, make sure there'd be no issues, but was never told about the city's action. Since taking over the boarding house, Petrie installed surveillance cameras and linked them with the city's Project Shield program, so police have access as well. Calls to police, Judge Patterson wrote, have been reduced 90 percent. Residents there say there's been a dramatic improvement. It's been better now, but that time, a couple few years ago, it was bad. It was prostitution going on, and it was drinking, and it was everything. Old management looked like he helped create the problem. The real raffle, mm -hmm. violent, the new uh, runner, he's, you know, he's young, you know, I respect him resident said that he'd be out on the streets had it not been uh, for Petrie, who really worked with him when he was laid off due to the pandemic. Now, this boarding house is in Councilman LeVon Manzi's district. In a statement today, he said he was disappointed in the judge's order. In Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.